The mother has been pregnant for a month. Inside her uterus, the embryo is transforming itself. At first, what look like nostrils appear. But then they change position, moving up to the top of the head, where they'll eventually become the blowhole. And from eight weeks, in three-dimensional real-time, known as 4D, we can see what's now the fetus bouncing around. It looks like it's swimming in the amniotic fluid, practicing in its own confined but very private pool. We see gulping actions as it swallows. It's just over two months since conception. The fetus is beginning to take on the dolphin's characteristic shape. The flippers are forming, along with a tail, or fluke. When fully developed, this tail is not just for propulsion, it's also a weapon. The shark is often thought of as the ultimate killing machine, but the dolphin, too, is one of the ocean's deadliest predators. It strikes its prey with a violent thrust of its tail, sending the fish over nine metres out of the water to stun or kill it. The muscles developing in the tail will be so powerful they'll allow the foetus to stand upright on its tail fin and propel itself as if walking on water. The nostrils have now reached the top of the head and are joining together. Eventually, a flap of muscle will form a watertight seal. When the dolphin breathes, it opens this flap and exhales powerfully. And when fully grown, this dolphin will only need to breathe two to three times a minute. Humans are involuntary breathers, meaning we continue to breathe even if we're unconscious. But dolphins are voluntary breathers. They must make a conscious decision to inhale air. Unconscious dolphins die from asphyxiation. This means that dolphins never truly sleep in their whole lives. Their brain must always be active enough to initiate breathing. 